out that space. This is your girl, Joy, back with another banger. Ah, I'm trying to find my groove, guys. Wait a minute. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, it's been interesting. This uh, stage I've been going through has been very interesting. It's just weird. I don't know how many people deal with... Where's my stuff? I don't know how many people deal with, you know, stuff that's going on up there. But this, this experience has been different than any other experience I've had. And like I said before, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel sad. There's, of course, there's um, a little anxiety um, due to, you know, financial things and so on and so forth. Um, planning my next move and trying to help Sydney out, my daughter, with her tuition, which has never been in my plans, child. And so that's throwing me for a loop. And, you know, then I'm, you know, dealing with her and her issues with school and friends. And there was a big thing that went down. So while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to write the names because um, we're going on a field trip today. I didn't sign up. I was I didn't volunteer for it. I was voluntold. <laughs> and so the eighth graders will be visiting high school today. And I guess they have, I don't know what they have for them. So um, I have a group of students and they have to wear these name tags. So I'm going to write their names on the name tag. So, you know, I'm trying to multitask here because I would love to just upload this video very quickly uh, with no editing. I'll try. <laughs> So, um, did I want to polish my little nails? So anyway, I want to tell y'all, um, when you have your child that's going through something, um, and there isn't much you can do besides give advice, it's, um, it's very painful to deal with as a parent and to watch. So, you know, the mama bear comes out and I just want to be like, <laughs> and also, um, I grew up in a different era. I grew up in a different world um, than my children. And so we don't share the same mentality. We don't share the same experiences. So I'm going to always look at things differently than my kids. Um, case in point, I didn't grow up around white people, period. Um, I grew up in an inner city in Brooklyn only black people. I never really left the block. Um, so I, I don't have that experience of outside my clique, so to speak. And also, um, my children have grown up the complete antithesis, meaning opposite of me. And so that's that's different. And I want to give my kids a different experience or whatever. So um, they have grown up in a predominantly white area, um, predominantly white school. My youngest and my oldest children, uh, they don't have any black friends. They have associates maybe, but none of their friends are black. Um, my son, mm-mm. Um, Sydney, mm -mm. and then Bobby, and she probably crossed over more so because she plays basketball, so she's been exposed to both, and her close friends are black, but she has friends on both sides, so she she's both. When I grew up, I had no white friends, okay? I had Puerto Rican friends. I still have my, <laughs> my Puerto Rican friends. I love them to pieces, but I didn't have white friends. That's not the world I grew up in. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Gotta hide my Sharpies around here, y'all. The kids like to write on themselves in Sharpies. I, I don't know, so I hide my Sharpies. Every time I look around. Um, if you haven't looked at my video of me ranting about issues as a teacher, I would say, go back and watch that. It's, it's just it's disheartening. I don't want to go back on that, but, you know, I still hear some more things. I heard a student 
I know I'm digressing from <laughs> the Sydney topic, but I'm gonna get back to that. Calm down, calm down, okay? So listen, listen, listen. A student yesterday, so I'm just I'm just gonna upload this video, right? So a student yesterday, she was like, Well, Miss Basil, I don't want to say too much. Um, people have been talking about you. A student, people have been talking about you, about your class, saying it's too hard, you know, other classes are easier. Then to have your parents sign you up, go to the easier class. You know, I have a goal. I know I'm trying to push you guys to prepare you for the state exam, prepare you for high school. Uh, that's my job. Not to make it easy and just fly by. And you know how you have, um, you've had uh, those blow-off classes? I don't think core classes should ever be a blow-off blow -off class. Why? We're preparing you for something. Anyway, and she was like, well, you should be teaching. Well, they said that you should be, y'all should be teaching the same stuff and your class shouldn't be harder. I said, no, as long as the test is the same. I said, no, we don't have. She was like, oh, so where'd she get that from? Somebody has to be, she had to get that from an adult. So, I don't know. That was, that threw me for a, a little loop. I'm like, how would she even know to say something like that? It had to come from another adult. Or another um, educator. So anyway, oh well, I'm still going to do what I have to do to prepare my kids um, for the next level in their lives. And if they want something that's easier, because life is not always going to be easy, bye. Tell your parents to sign you up for the easiest situation. Bye, bye, bye. So anyway, back to sitting. As I digress, I had to give you that little bit of tea because it, it, it shook me. Yes, I was like, what? So anyway, so Sydney, you know, she does that. I said, Sydney, you got to get you at least one good black friend, period. That's what I said. I said what I said and I did. You better get you a black friend. Um, so, you know, she has roommates. I don't even care at this point. Mm -mm, they don't be watching my videos anyway, but I don't care. And um, Sydney was planning on moving in with the roommate and some other girls into a house next year long story short um they don't want sydney living with her um they don't want sydney living with them well no the roommate said that um it would make the other uh people feel uncomfortable because they have their disagreements and sydney was like yeah but we always talked about our stuff and we kept it pushing that's what you do just like a relationship you have a disagreement you, you discuss it and you know if it's not anything egregious or anything like that you work it out and then you keep it pushing because when you have roommates that, that that's what's going to happen and um the, and she the roommate was like well i don't think it'll be fair for the other girls but what does it have to do with the other girls so therefore they have been talking about behind her back and I guess they came to a consensus that she would be kicked out of the group. And then that left her with nowhere to live next year. And she, oosh, her little feelings were hurt, hurt. And then, this is just me. This is the era I grew up in. This is my mind. I'm like, so, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody. But I'm going to keep it 100. I was like, oh, so they kicked the little black girl out, huh? So that's what they kicked out without anybody listening to your side or, you know, talking to you about this or everybody sitting down and discussing this a way that you guys can, you know, work together, or, you know, talk about the differences. Because what's, hap what's going to happen, you're going to have disagreements. You you're all getting to know each other, right? And I don't know why teenagers feel as though parents don't know anything. Like we've never been through anything. We haven't experienced some things. Like we haven't been knocked down. Like we haven't gotten back up, twirled around, and then bounced back off a rebound. You know what I'm saying? I told Sydney. I said, Sydney, she was, oh, I love, I love my roommate. I love my roommate. I love my roommate. We're going to be friends forever, ever, ever. I said, and I'm like, that's cute. Okay. I'm listening, but let me tell you one thing, little girl. Let me tell you something. You don't really know a person until you live with them. I said, trust and believe. No, 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 it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. And I did not want to say, I told you so, but I did. <laughs> 
I said, Sydney, I told you, you don't know a person till you live, you have never lived with that girl. You don't know, you know, how she's been raised, things she's used to. Y'all gotta come to, you know, agreements and somebody may not agree. Obviously, the proof is in the pudding because you got kicked out of the, the club. And um, she was hurt. And I was like, see, that's what I'm telling you. You got to give people that room and give them that benefit of the doubt. But you was just like, oh, no, if this is it, it's going to work. This, that, that, that. I'm like, sometimes you just got to just wait and see. Wait and see. And then when I went up to see uh, Sydney, um, she was like, oh, no, we met. They're our friends. Oh, we just, we had a great time. This is with the roommate when things were good. Yeah, they're our friends. I said, Sydney, everybody's not your friend. You just met them. No, no, they're our friends. They're my friends. No, they wouldn't do that. I said, Sydney, you just met these people. How you call them your friends? Everybody's not your friends. Everybody is not for you. And the girl who, the other, you know, outside of the roommate, there was another girl. They all had the same friends who she thought she was close to. That friend ain't stick up for her. That friend sided with all the other peach people. Mm-hmm. I said, see, Sydney? And I was like, I, sometimes I just wonder, is it a color thing? Because she's the only one kicked out. I was like, she doesn't even think like that. Me, I'm like, mm. So you got kicked out. Nobody talked to you. No, none of them your friend now. All of them, you know, your roommate's friend. So I was like, mm. I said, Sydney, you better get you at least one good black friend. I'm sorry. You, you got to diversify your portfolio, okay? D d black, Asian, <laughs> you know, you, d d Spanish. You got to diversify your portfolio, honey. You just can't be with one one click. And me, when I was in high school, um, it was blacks. There were some white people. There were some white people and Puerto Ricans. So I had a lot of Puerto Rican friends. I, did, I didn't have any white friends. And they kind of they kind of stuck together. So my portfolio wasn't that diversified, but I had my little Puerto Rican friends. Okay, okay. Oh God, that's the bell for the kids. They let the kids in the building. So I just felt bad for her, and I was like, sitting, I would be blocking all those people, and she got to you know deal with the situation with the roommate. Another um, another quarter, another I don't know, another semester. But um, it hasn't been bad for her um they're just cordial but she's woke now you see what i'm saying she's woke and she's aware and she knows where she stands and the roommate was like oh maybe you know we can talk about it what's there to talk about you already said what you said i already know how you feel so what is there to talk about there's nothing to talk about i just she just needs to find a living situation i told her her tail needs to transfer because the school is too dang expensive and it's stressing my my tail out it's, it's too expensive. So she'll be home for Thanksgiving, but Bobby will not be home um, because uh, basketball. So it'll be my first Thanksgiving without Bobby, but she'll be home for Christmas. So the way I'm looking, the way my, my plan is, is that this will be our last Thanksgiving, last um, Christmas at the house. Mm, I, I, just, I just, it's just too much. It's just too much, you know, and trying to, you know, help the girls out. I, I can't do it anymore. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, my van goals and planning. So I haven't done much, I haven't done much executing, but I've been still thinking and planning and trying to figure out when I'm going to tell the landlord that I'm out. So I'm trying to figure those things out and but there's no way I could I could continue down this path and be able to help the girls. It's just there's just no way. And then when Sydney comes home, I'm really gonna talk to her about maybe transferring schools. The school is expensive. I don't I don't I don't remember, but I think it's somewhere around um sixty thousand dollars a year. I, oh oh I do who got that? Not me. Not me. And then, you know, I'm struggling with my own student loans that I haven't paid in, in buku years. You know, I can keep defer, defer. So I'm thinking about doing a master's program. So, so that costs money too. So I'm just trying to figure out a lot of things. 
<sighs> but lately I've still been in my little rut. I haven't been able to crawl out. I just, just want to be home. Just go to bed. That's it. I rush out of here. Baby, I was in my car. That bell rang at 4 o'clock. Teachers can't leave until 4.15. I had duty after 4.15 uh, because I had outside duty, which I love. I came back in here. My stuff was already a little packed. I was in my car at 4.23. History. <laughs> that is history. So, I don't know. And I rushed home. Bought a little Little Caesars pizza and got in bed. That's where I say now and then I dozed off and then I cleaned my bathroom. So I scrubbed the bathroom really well. And Sydney was like, Well, can you have sitting um uh, can you have Clinton move out of my room? <laughs> I'm like, No. So uh I said, You want to crawl in bed with me? And you know, Clinton got comfortable in that room. That's a whole nother story, y'all child. I'll say that for another video. You saw that eye roll? Mm. So anyway, I'll say that for another video. And I was like, no, you better crawl in bed with me. And I was like, besides, you're not even going to hardly be here. She going to be in the street ripping and running. And she's excited to see her friends. Her peach friends. <laughs> so leave your uh, opinions, thoughts, and comments below which i know you will do anyway that's why i love you guys um thank you for watching this video if you're still here hanging out with me um i'm gonna work on these i did say i was gonna write these and talk to y'all at the same time that didn't happen so i'm gonna write these up real quick so i have my group i think i have 24 students who are gonna be in my group so every teacher has a group and then i won't be back in time because these are eighth graders about to go to high school so what i look like uh, not pushing the kids and getting them ready for high school. What I look like. That's what I should do. Just to make it easier. For me and you. Mm -mm. I, hear some, I hear some people at the door. Sometimes the kids just don't want to sit in the hallway. And they want to come in here with me. I see little feet. I don't have tutorials. I don't got nobody's tutorials. Mm -hmm. They just walked away. So, all right, y'all. Thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate you guys. I do appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Uh, I know I haven't been very consistent, but I've been dealing with my, my own stuff up here. But once again, I don't feel sad. I just lost my mojo. Yeah, that's what it's like. I lost my joy. Hmm, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right, y'all, I love you. Give this video a thumbs up and click like, click share, click share, click share. Make sure you share the video. Bye, y'all.